All right, so paperless pipeline, here we are, and this is one of the most underutilized systems we have. I really just use it to store my files and access those and organize them just the best I can as I'm on the go. But there's so much we can do and there might be another training that we can have you look at that would be more helpful than what I'm gonna do. But essentially, uh, adding a transaction is super simple. I mean, just go through and add all the information. You know, if we know the closing date, everything. We can, we'll even have, the, we have to update this because that was our other assistant right there. So I'll be adding you. And yeah, it's just simple. Then, uh, when it comes to just managing a transaction, I guess, let's just look at this one. When you, uh, so what I, what I like to have inside of, of these files are documents that are completely signed off by both parties. But we can, we can have um, some of the files in here be, it's not like against the rules or anything, but I like to keep it clean and just have what's signed. So what happens right now for a new file, let's just say, um, let's just look here. We're working on Jonathan and Valen, so when we get their new purchase agreement in, it could be all lumped together into one large file. So it could have their buyer's agreement and their listing or their their purchase agreement all in one huge PDF. And so what we can do with that is we can break up the document. So let's just pretend that the buyer's agreement is the huge file. Mm -hmm. So we go down here and we say break apart. And we simply understand what pages are what, and we go pages one through five, that's the purchase agreement. Pages six through seven is the buyer contract. We can just split those up. And we can even, so if the buyer's agreement is, we can just label that under buyer, so it kind of keeps them in a little bit of a separate area and then hit break apart and you can you can keep those other you can keep the original one if you want to for whatever reason automatically yep. you or you can just delete it mm -hmm. and that's the, one of the main reasons I have this program mm -hmm. okay because a lot of no other program is I've seen can do this yeah. and no other program has also been able to just email files and then it automatically uploads it yeah. and that's huge to me <laughs> yes <Yeah>, Blanca <laughs> Okay, and then it looks like there is one document waiting to be assigned right here. So that must be the approval letter. So I'll go in here and I'll just say, that's actually kind of a buyer's document. And I've reviewed it and I've entered it. And so there we go. So we that's have... so easy. Mm -hmm. So here's our old approval letter. We'll just get rid of it. Boom. So you don't keep much just on file from past stuff. You only really keep the stuff that's... Okay, now we're gonna cover checklists inside of paperless real quick. Inside of each transaction, you can have a checklist and I've created three. We may wanna revise these so it's not set in stone. This is a buyer, so we'll click on buyer checklist and we have a whole list of key things we have to do. And uh, you know, it's this is the basics, but essentially, you know, I used to have something where I was sending them out a survey, and really what it was is questions about what kind of house, what size, things like that. But we're not doing that anymore. So I can delete that. And then we're gonna create a custom one of these for you that you will revise it. But essentially, you know, once you start checking these, you see the color here. Mm -hmm. It'll even go to yellow. It'll go. It'll go green. It'll it's it's awesome. Mm -hmm. So, and then we can add a new task down here. Mm -hmm. uh, but let's just jump in here and edit this real quick. So MLS number.
typically I like to do it like this. I, I do just this portion of the property address. And then client name, closing date, we have that now. And we might as well include them in the backup. We'll just do this because we're here. And then commission, this house is paying 2.7. So let's say we got it accepted, and you don't have to do this until it's accepted. Mm -hmm. We'll just jump in and go. .0 and then here I can say, you know, I'm splitting, I'm splitting this commission with another agent or whatever. So this gives you a good summary of the thing, yeah. you know. Um, you could, uh, these checklists mm -hmm. can also have dates, which is exactly oh. one of the things that I wanted to implement. Because mm -hmm. if, uh, for example, we can do, let's just add one for a demo. Mm -hmm. This is like the most important one right here. Respond to inspection Oops. and then save it and then add so we did five days right so five business days no we did three, no, we did three. so one two three boom now I haven't even done this yet but it should alert us okay so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna dig into this Now, another cool thing when you want to send out documents from a file, you know, when it's time to send in the whole thing to the office and maybe you want to copy the loan officer, you can just go in here and say, send an email. You can say the sale file for sale file for this thing, blah, blah, blah. You can copy me and Blanca if you want. You can then enter this lady's email that, what's her name? Mm -hmm. And it'll just send out all the emails automatically so you don't have to attach anything. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually I forgot, you do have to just click here. You yeah. have to click the files you wanna okay. send, okay. And then if it's huge, like if you're sending 10 huge files, mm -hmm. this program will condense it into links. So they won't even get an attachment in their email, they'll just say, oh, here are the links to these, Thanks. you know? And and that those will only be good for a month. So the things aren't just floating yes. out there. Yep. I mean, this is like the reason I love this thing.